of the Digital Chinese. I'm Stephen Zhong from where? I'm also working for Harbor, the co-maintainer of the CNCF project. Now today my topic is Harman chart-based installation. Some of the expressive from Vera, especially and a repeatable, are my two considerations. So what are the challenges and motivations for the appearance that Harbor has made the kinetics deployment easier, which is modular-based, and also it is based on the configuration of the parameters. But during the installation, you still need to cover it with multiple parameters. And also sometimes these values don't have the scam YAML to validate. You will already have seen it in the HAM03, and I, we introduced that, but there would still be some challenges. And we don't have a very consistent, high-quality experience on the Vera side. Yeah, for the parameters for installation, including the customer, Sightings are not convenient for being repeatable, so I'm considering on improving them. So my idea is to offer a deployment service. The deployment service will cut further when you fetch a charter. So from the charter, you can extract the values and the schemas. Based on that, you will you generate a standardized VADA as well as a form list. Yeah, you can output that to UI site so that our users may use the visualized uh, visitor uh, to do the customization. If you finish the setting of customization, you may use deployment to deploy it to the target environment and uh, store it as a deployment settings. And uh, that deployment settings can be repeatable. Yeah, that means you, you may do the versioning of deployment settings. You can do some diff between the two different versions. You may identify some difference based on the current uh, versions. Can you duplicate a brand new configuration items? From uh, before Hub V3, have we already considered this issue? We already have some validation detection injection. Yeah, and also from the schema of the community, if you have nothing more, you may have also the uh, validation script information and also the uh, up limit and the down limit, lower limit of some of the values. So you may put that into the injections or you may use the existing or incumbent schema. Okay. This is also uh, the Vera uh, visual wizard example for all the settings is based on your design, the value. It can be rendered into the uh, wizard page and it can be put into different sections. The top can be the part of the sections. The one in the purple part can be turned into a form of a certain page and the other values can be converted into input box as well as a selection box so that consumers can enter the most important information. So all the input of our users will be validated. It will give the users some hints or cues if it is not compliant with the input requirements. And also we mentioned that deployment conf configurations can be persistent and also for reviewer, it, it can do that based on different versions and it will help you to review all of the configuration items. You can do the diff between two versions and based on the existing ones where you generate a new options of configuration, you can re reinstall based on the current values in your chart. Okay. Looking ahead into the future, well, we consider to have more discussion with the community and deliver a prototype. We will also find some opportunities as well as some open source projects, including Hoover apps. We will deliver jointly these features. And in terms of some more thoughts, apart from chart for such a deployment framework can be general. Right. And we can support all of the bundles and the related settings. And even with or without a scammer, without scammer, can we inject the scammer? So it is not only pure value, it can be a, a wizard based installation. So for the deployment custom, uh, configuration customer settings, as well as the HAM chart release of deployment, can be unified into one new bundle. That new bundle can be a cloud native content. Then it can be stored or returned back to the factory yeah, based on the previous deployed artifacts to have the co-relationship. It will help to track and do the statistics of all of the safety items. Well, such an idea is just to offer you uh, more opportunities of takeaways and uh, to discuss with you. Yeah, you are welcome to have discussion with me. Thank you for your attention.